Yeah, I know. Kind of cool. Hi there everyone, I hope you are doing great. We meet again for another motorcycle review and today is a very, very special occasion. I've been invited by Yamaha friends to review the brand new Yamaha MT-09 2024. It is the press launch of this machine and we are in Lanzarote in Spain to review this incredible motorcycle. It is very probable that this is gonna be a first impression right on the machine because we are in a context that I really don't know, but I'm gonna try to tell you all I know about the machine, the engine, the new features, the looks, everything that has been modified by Yamaha today. So let's not wait anymore. We're gonna ride this machine right now. Let's go. So guys, here we are for the press launch of this brand new Yamaha MT-09 2024. And uh, as I told you, this is not gonna be a proper motorcycle review because I don't know the roads here. I don't know exactly where I'm going. So it's gonna be very difficult to be talking to you about practical aspects and then riding position and then the engine and then the, the chassis. So I'm gonna give you all the information I can uh, in a maybe not perfectly assembled way, but uh, you'll get the gist of it. And then once I'm back in France and I have the motorcycle in the dealerships, uh, I will be able to tell you more about it in a more structured way, let's say. So. I am super happy because as you can see we are in a beautiful setting this uh, incredible island of Lanzarote in Spain the Canary Islands it's a uh, incredible really setting and we are riding what appears to be the brand new flagship of Yama in the hyper naked category so what we have here today is the standard Yama MT-09 it's not the, the FP version which will have among other things Rainbow style and calipers, but uh, that's something we will discuss once we put our hands on the bike. And uh, yeah, there have been some changes on this motorcycle. First of all, we have a new uh, facelift on uh, the headlamp of the bike, on the headlight. As you can see, it is quite uh, different. Always, I would say, as bizarre because uh, the dark side of Japan family, the empty family, has always been uh, a bit special in that regard but uh, that's not something that is uh, unexpected in uh, in uh, any kind of way just let me i was just tightening my insta 360 uh, a bit of afraid of losing it so yeah it's still a very very bizarre looking machine a very specific looking machine but i would say that some people like it others won't and that's exactly what yama was striving for with this dark side of Japan family so all in all I would say that uh, everything is quite good and um, there are still some things on this machine that are a bit better in an overall setting the motorcycle feels much more a premium high finished than the previous one I'm just gonna have to stop for a bit because we are right now increasing the rhythm and look at this look at this all the journalists all the youtubers influencers that are here with us today so it is uh, very very cool and uh, yeah so uh, as I was telling you maybe in a more uh, fast way no problem with that we have a very nice looking machine much better than the previous models in my opinion the materials feel more serious more well finished I would say the attention to detail on on the bike is um, more pronounced we have now a two-part seat compared to the previous generation we which was only one part so that's, um, that's very good, that's very, very good, something that I really appreciate on this new MT-09. And um, I would say that the riding position didn't change much. Uh, we have still this uh, very upright position. They, they modified very, very few millimeters uh, here and there. Some things like the handlebar is a bit to the rear and a bit, bit lower, uh, I would say. And the rear pegs are a bit uh, to the rear, so we have maybe something that is a bit more sporty, at least when Yamaha told us about it in the, the conference they, they held, uh, they, they told us that it is really uh, a more controllable bike, that is what they are uh, aiming for, striving for, to have more control on this machine. It really feels almost the same, maybe when you are riding the bike very enthusiastically, you will feel uh, a more pronounced difference, but when riding it in an everyday setting, things are uh, quite the same. And that's not a bad thing at all, because the MT-09 was always a very, very uh, pleasant machine to ride in terms of riding position. Uh, the seat A didn't change, I think it's uh, 825 millimeters, so it's still quite an accessible machine, because the, the seat is not very, very thick, you know, uh, between the legs. 
So um, I would say that uh, most riders will feel quite comfortable on it, I would say. And uh, yeah, in terms of general ergonomics, uh, the bike feels quite uh, nice. We have brand new switch gears, which are very pleasant to use. I love them. They feel premium. They feel well finished, but they are also very easy to use, to, to handle. So congrats to Yamaha. We have the Azure Flight, which is on the left switch gear. Thank you so much. That's something you will always hear me say. The only thing that uh, is on the right is the mode button, which allows you to change the riding mode. And that's a very good thing because those riding modes only activate uh, when you are releasing the throttle. So no problem at all with that aspect because you have to release the throttle to be using them. So uh, I guess it's not, uh, it's not uh, very disturbing to have that. The screen is also very, very cool. Maybe I will have uh, the opportunity to make you a full technology part a bit uh, further, so I'm not gonna dive too much into it right now. But we have a brand new TFT screen, which is very readable, very clear, very pleasant to use. I'm sorry right now, I have my Insta 360 in front of it, but I will show it to you in a static uh, way. And uh, yeah, the, the general ergonomics of this machine are quite good. The rear view mirrors feel pretty nice. They don't vibrate. They are quite big. You can adjust them. Yama told us they are brand new. It's been some time now that I didn't ride uh, AMT09, so I, I cannot compare them. But uh, uh, the only thing I would say is that they really feel uh, quite um, useful. And that's what we ask from a stock rear view mirror so yeah they, they are quite cool in that aspect the levers are also nice they are precise but not too firm something that Yamaha uh, has always been uh, quite good at making in my opinion and uh, and yeah so overall the machine feels quite decent the tank capacity is still 14 liters and they announce 5 liters per 100 kilometers consumption which is nuts and by what I've seen I think it's quite uh, right because I am right now at, let me tell you, I am at 5.6 liters per 100 kilometers and I have like uh, 1000 kilometers on the bike, so uh, 600 miles, I would say. So it is very, very new. Uh, I don't even know if the first maintenance was made. So uh, maybe once it's done and uh, once you are riding it in a less enthusiastic way I would say because we've been riding this machine for some kilometers now in a very very energetic way I would say so uh, yeah I think you can drop down to five liters per hundred kilometers without too many trouble I'm not gonna talk too much about engine heat maybe in a more fully detailed review if uh, if that's needed you will tell me in the comments if that's needed to have a, a full review of this machine once it reaches our dealership partners but uh yeah I, i'm not feeling that much engine heat and the temperature here in uh, lanzarote is quite high but uh it's it's very very hard for me to tell you guys because uh, we are riding in a very very angry setting with a, with a bit of speed, I'm not gonna hide it to you. So uh, yeah, finally passenger riding, I didn't have the opportunity to try it, so I'm not gonna talk to you about that. But uh, I feel that uh, it's gonna be a mix between, uh, yeah, a machine that is very, very selfish, egotistical, and uh, something that you can ride uh, for some miles with a friend, your loved ones. I know that it is a bit weird to be riding that fast and talking about practical aspects, but believe me, I will tell you more about the engine in a moment. <laughs> but uh, yeah, to conclude the practical aspects and riding position, the machine feels quite, uh, quite nice to use and uh, a bit more premium on the finish, on the look side. So uh, that's, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Let's discuss now, of course, this CP3 engine, this inline three-cylinder engine, which is still bonkers. Let me tell you, this thing is very, very pissed off, very angry, and uh, I am trying desperately to get back to my, to my mates because they are all very experienced journalists and I am not. I don't have their writing skills, so uh, it's a bit hard for me. But as you can see, this engine is really, really quite, is really quite potent. We still have 119 horsepower and 93 newton meters of torque. Apparently they've made some changes inside the gearbox to make the, the gear switch a bit smoother. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm losing a bit my team here. But yeah, as you can see, lots of strength on this thing. And we are now on a more bumpy road. So I guess it's gonna be a bit harder to be talking properly here. 
but at least I can say that the suspensions feel quite good because uh, yeah I, I, I felt it so yeah as you, <laughs> as you saw this engine feels quite uh, quite animated and we also have these brand new acoustic grills that allow to have the engine sound directly to our ears and it is super super cool you can really feel the difference uh, when riding the machine it's a bit harder for you guys I think because I have my uh, audio recorder for the engine sound behind me on the passenger seat and so of course you cannot realize how much a difference that makes but I can really feel that I have the engine sound in my ears and um, and the bike is compliant with uh, the uh, Euro 5 plus pollution norms and uh, acoustic norms so that is very very cool uh, because that's one of the things we like of course in a thermic motorcycle that uh, we can uh, hear a beautiful sound but uh, things are going to evolve in a way that uh, it's not going to please most of us and uh, this definitely feels like I don't have a stock exhaust on the machine so it is kind of kind of flattering as you can guess this thing responds very quickly very aggressively as low as 4000 rpm you can feel the energy building on this machine and then once we reach the realm of the 7000 8000 rpm it, it completely explodes up to 10000 i would say but it still feels a very torquey engine like it's not an inline four cylinder art where you have to really take the rpm up to the the very highest values now this machine feels at ease when turning the throttle as low as uh, 3000 rpm it already feels quite energetic and now let's discuss the suspensions on the machine the chassis so uh, they retain the same formula uh, on, in terms of the the frame like on this mt09 so uh, it was already something that was quite agile with a very good weight uh, I don't think the weight of the bike has changed, at least it feels super pleasant to use, super agile. So uh, very, very nice on that side. And uh, we have um, the same elements in terms of suspension. I think it's a, a Showa fork, a 41 mm inverted Showa fork, I think, which does a very good work, but they've modified some settings on the machine. It is a bit uh, firmer in terms of uh, dampening in the front and a bit looser on the, on the rear side. I feel that the bike is uh, quite agile, quite um, maneuverable, but at the same time maybe a bit firmer, a bit more stable than the previous generation of the MT-09, which tended to be, you know, a bit on the loose side. I'm sorry, but I had to ride a bit strongly with this machine and I didn't feel threatened at any moment by it so um, that's quite a good compliment I think on, on the side. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to try the brakes of the machine because um, I have people behind me but I can tell you that those work pretty well they already did on the previous generation of the MT-09 I would say the only difference here and it's a big difference is that we have a Brembo MCS master cylinder which allows for more precision more finesse I would say when uh, squeezing the lever so that's a very very good point for this bike and uh, yeah the, the, the braking feels quite good in, a, in an everyday setting the suspensions feel uh, quite nice really quite nice uh, I think they are quite smooth when uh, you are riding some bumps or things like that you don't really feel like uh, it's too too hard on you it's, it's a really good compromise maybe the MT-09 SP will be a bit on the firmer side but here we definitely can feel that this machine is uh, yeah, quite, uh, quite a good compromise for uh, every kind of riding. Uh, if you don't take it to a track, it's going to be perfectly uh, fit for that. And now it's the moment where they start getting angry again. <laughs> so let's go. As you can see, the bike feels super, super agile. I really need to, you know, be hyper focused to follow those guys because they are very very experienced riders some with more than uh, you know 30 years of not only riding but also journalism and so very aggressive riding but uh, yeah I, I would say that this uh, MT-09 helps me in that way thank god this suspension feels very very good maybe just a bit wobbly at some times you can feel that it's not as precise as a uh, uh, 765 RS or uh, maybe even a, a bike with more noble elements like uh, Olin's fork it still remains a very very good result and uh, I would uh, I would give uh, Yamaha my, my compliments on this machine which is quite quite a success in terms of chassis suspension and brakes 
Let's discuss now the technology on this machine, even if I am feeling and dreading that the rhythm is gonna still be very high, but uh, yeah, bear with me. So on this bike, we have a, a brand new TFT screen, a five inches TFT screen, which is magnificent. The old one was really horrendous. It was horrible and they really stepped it up a notch to, to make something that is really nice to, to look at with lots of information. Very, very clear, very readable, crisp, bright. So uh, that's super, super cool. Congrats once again to Yamaha for this. And uh, in terms of electronic assistances, we have many, many things on this machine. We have five riding modes. So uh, three which are like uh, fixed settings and two that are completely customizable. And uh, we have uh, a quick shifter up and down. We have a uh, wheeling control, slide control, traction control. We have a new uh, rear slide control, which as they told us, is supposed to intervene in terms of power management in the engine when the slide control fails sometimes. So uh, it's uh, another fail safe, I would say. So the machine has uh, quite a nice electronic package. And we also have a connectivity to the Yamaha MyRide application that allows you to, you know, personalize everything on the machine, like the riding modes, etc., etc., directly on your smartphone. So I think it's pretty cool to have that kind of feature on a machine that is more and more technological. But uh, that's the way uh, things work nowadays. We have to, to go with the flow. So uh, yeah, we have a very, very nice electronic package on this machine. Definitely this MT-09 is not uh, a bike that is going to be disappointing on that regard. But it is now time for us to conclude this uh, first impression review of the MT-09. I think the conditions were quite good. I, I think I was able to deliver you almost everything they told me about the machine and I, what I felt about it. So uh, you will tell me in the comments if you feel that a proper review is needed once I get back to France and uh, the machine eats the, the dealership partners. That's something you, you will tell me. Maybe it won't be necessary. And uh, yeah, my first impression, my first feedback on this bike is that it is still a very fun motorcycle. It is a machine that's made, you know, to uh, make you feel that uh, every stroll, every time you take the bike can be a, a fun moment uh, with a machine that is very expressive, very powerful, I would say. 119 horsepower is uh, already uh, plenty of power uh, that you can feel really very maneuverable with a bit more precision, a bit more agility, but uh, at the same time, you, you feel safe on the bike, a bit safer, I would say, than on the previous generations. And you still have a ride that is very, very good for an everyday environment use, which can uh, really fit any kind of a riding style. So uh, yeah, yeah, congrats Yamaha for this uh, brand new MT-09 2024, which is really, really a terrific machine. This video is over, folks. I hope you liked it. Uh, it was a bit of a, a peculiar setting, and uh, I'm, I'm sorry if I didn't make things exactly as I do them usually on, on the English channel, because uh, as you can uh, guess, it's a bit uh, peculiar when you are riding with a group and you cannot, you know, choose when to stop, when to make uh, the, the proper parts of the review. So I did my best. Tell me what do you thought about it in the comment section. And we meet very, very soon again for more reviews on the Russus TV EN channel. Take care of you. Enjoy riding. See you.